Hey, what is up guys? This is Creative Freder here. So today in this video, I'm going to make a long range switching circuit. So with that being said, leave a like and subscribe to this channel and let's jump into the video. Okay guys, so let me give you a brief description of this circuit, how generally all the things works and how I am representing all the things to you guys. Suppose I want to control a motor with a switch. So what I just need is a motor and a switch and the connection would be very simple as shown in the picture. The motor and the switch would be connected in series and the outer terminals would be connected with the main supply with 110 volts or 220 volts depending on your country. But here our target is long range so what we can do is to extend the switch wires. It is an easy circuit isn't it? Now there are several flaws of the circuit. Here I want to run high loads like a motor so I will definitely need high gauge wires for connecting with the switch and you know what high gauge wires are not cheap they are very expensive. And another main flaw is the resistive loss let me tell you in detail. When the range is increasing, then the wire length is also increasing. So there will be high resistive loss of the wire. So there are two main deficiencies of the circuit. For removing all these losses, I just came up with a simple solution. I will just make a simple circuit and that will be connected at the load side. And the circuit will just take a signal for turning on slash off the motor. Let me give you a simple overview of the system. This circuit is based upon simple transistors. Here I have used LDA as the light sensor and the relay as a switch. The relay is basically a digital switch which can handle the maximum of current. If the light falls on the LDA then the relay is off and if the LDA is in dark then the relay will be on. It is for maximum power saving. Here we will give light to the LDA through external light source such as LED. Now if we turn on slash off the LED then the relay will be off slash on. The LED will take maximum of 20 milliamps of current so you can use any normal wire for powering the LED. So here is the simple schematics of this circuit. The LDA and the 2.2K register creates a voltage divider. At first, suppose the LDA is not getting light, so the resistance of the LDA will be infinite, so no current will flow from Q1 transistor. So at that time, the current will flow from VCC to Q2 transistor's base through 1K register. So it activates the Q2 transistor, so the load which is connected with the Q2 transistor will be powered up. In opposite way, if the LDA gets light, then the Q1 transistor became conductive. All current flows through the shortest path which is VCC to ground through 1K register. No current will flow from Q2 transistor's base, so it will not trigger the Q2 transistor as well as the relay. Okay guys, so all things aside, I have converted the schematics to PCB and ordered it from nextpcb.com. They are most experienced PCB manufacturers in China. They are providing some of the most innovative printed circuit boards with some highest quality standards. They offer 4 layer PCBs only for $28 and just upload your grabber file today and currently they are offering 100 by 100 centimeter 10 PCBs for free to their new registered customers. Processing time is 48 hours and shipping time is also very quick and wait because of COVID-19 next PCB is giving an exclusive 10% discount on their PCBs and PCB assembly orders so why you are waiting for place your first order from nextpcb.com link is in the video description. Within 5 days, I received my PCBs and here you can see the quality. It is just great. 
then I gathered all the components and placed all the components on the PCB. Now I used a fine soldering bit and soldered all the components in the PCB. Then I washed the PCB with thinner. Here you can see two screw terminal blocks. Two pin screw terminal block is for the power supply and the three pin screw terminal is for the relay output. The load which we want to control will be connected here. Okay, so now the most important part, the sensor part for the lighting, I am using a simple white LED. I also want to run the LED with 12 volt power. So I have added a 1K register in series with the LED. At next, we have to connect the LDR and the LED in such a way that the light of the LED directly falls on the LDR and the surrounding brightness will not affect this process. And I have covered the whole thing with black heat shrinking tube so nothing will create obstacle. At next, I have connected the LDR on the PCB and glued it with the relay. Then I soldered the LDR terminals and the PCB is finally complete. Here I am using 12 volt LiPo battery. So I am connecting the XT60 connector with the input screw terminal block of the circuit. At next, I would connect the LED negative with the ground terminal. Now I would solder some long wires with the switch. Then I connected the switch wire with the LED positive and used some electrical tape for avoiding any type of short circuit. At next, I connected the remaining switch wire with the positive of the input. For testing, I used a light as a load so I connected the holder wires with the relay terminal in series. So guys that's pretty much enough for this video i hope you guys like my take on long range transmission system so thank you so much for watching and giving your time and this is creative creator signing out i hope to see you guys in my next video peace out